Welcome back guys to the PvP build for the Scraps of Fate patch. I'm on my Stamina Saucer with another 1vx build with the new set Snake in the Stars on the back bar which deals a good amount of Oblivion damage. Applying a major or minor debuff to an enemy applies Star Venom to them for 4 seconds. We can easy proc it with Elemental Susceptibility. Whenever an enemy with Star Venom is healed, they take 1.3k Oblivion damage up to once every 0.1 seconds. If you are lucky and your target has a ton of healing over time abilities, then it can hit up to 7, 8, sometimes even more in those 4 seconds. Especially if your target is under pressure, in execute range, it's pretty hard for them to heal themselves with this set applied. And we can even bank by it, which is pretty nice. A yeah, Smithic Deathier's Feet, probably a must have for every sorcerer. We need the extra stamina magicka and the HP. As defensive set, Mars Bar models. I did some tests with other sets, but Mars Bar is just way too powerful, especially in both bars. Means the heating over time ability has a bigger uptime like this. On the front bar, the Master's do it. Deeds an insane amount of damage with running slashes. It empowers this ability like crazy and really easy to play. As filler, one Mark Incarnate for extra magic and stamina region. Pretty basic setup here. Armor types, 3 heavy, especially on the chest, really important for the extra resistance. And the light armor pieces on the hands and sash, like this you will lose the most less amount of resistance. The shoulder knight and one medium head. Then on the jewelry, full infused still, I prefer it for the extra heating. For pure damage, go with bloodthirsty. Or just a mix of bloodthirsty and infused. Front bar two maces for extra pen, non sharp, flame and poison chant. Then back bar and ice stuff. Simply like this, we can use the elements of susceptibility debuff to proc snake in the stars. And it also helps for magicka sustain. Way easier and more comfortable to heavy attack than a bow on the back bar. Instead of snake in the stars back bar, you can still go with mars bomb or wedding cry. And then on the body, something like Red Mountain, Way of Fire, Unfaithful Darkness, those typical proc damage sets. Instead of Deathier's Feet, Marcune is possible too. Or then on the Nectus with Sea Serpent's Coil for more damage. But I hate the 40% snare. It's really annoying, especially in Monrex situations, even on this also. Skills, front bar still bound elements for the extra 8% max stamina, and it's even a good amount of damage. Then rending slashes are sparable and a powerful dot, especially with the Master's Do wield, which also applies the hemorrhaging status effect, which deals extra dot damage, and applies the minor mangle effect for 10% HP reduction on a target. Really nice. And even snares the target for 30% for seconds. Then streak as mobility and stun. Camouflage Hunter still slotted for the minor Berserk buff and Major Savagery and Prophecy, then Dawnbreak of Smiting as aggressive ultimate, back bar elemental susceptibility for Major Breach and the extra Burning, Chilled and Concussion status effect. Race against time is now removable for minor force and Major Expedition. Alternative, you can go with the new Mist form if you're a vampire. Resolving Vega itself here, Hurricane Resistance buff, Dark Deal for sustained and healing. And the Greater Storm Artonai a second ultimate, especially effective in open feed situation, then I can line off side. And on top it even gives 20% stamina and HP region just dotted with this passive here. Very nice. As race, Orc for extra weapon spell damage, sprint cost reduction, extra sprint movement speed, max health and stamina, Mundus the Warrior for extra weapon damage. Smoked Bear Hunt as Buffoot, we need the extra Magicka region. 13 points in health and 51 in stamina. If you prefer a little bit more HP, go with more points in HP. But we have Death Ears Feet, don't forget about that. In fight we are easy over 30k HP. Potions, we need to slot the uh, Brutality Potions. We need the Magic Brutality or Sorcery buff. I don't have space for anything like Shrouded Dagger. Or since we don't have a bow on the back bar, I cannot use Poison Arrow. But Sustain is more than enough to be honest. I never use the Tricep Potions, really rare if I'm really super under pressure, but mainly the Brutality Potions. CPs, Blue One, Steady Aim, Mastered Arms, Ironclad and USB Buff. Red One, Sustain Per Suffering, Pains of Future Celebrity and Slippery. Nothing special here. Combination, Start to pre for self, Face Against Time. 
Hurricane, Dark Deal and Bound Armaments. Then apply Elements Susceptibility, Curse, Branding Slashes, Into DB, Streak and 4 stacks with Bound Armaments. If not, just spam Branding Slashes. Really easy to play and really effective and powerful. That's it with another PvP build. Thanks for watching and I stand as you hopefully in the next video. Peace. I'm a cock my nine